Hello everyone, what's up? Well, as you can see, Maggie came back from the groomer uh, just two days ago. And just look how fresh she is. She's all cut and trimmed and she smells absolutely gorgeous. Hey. Cool. And, and so yes, I did get a haircut. So, but that's not the point. So today I, I just came back from Tarantula Canada. I'm actually going to try to see if I can upload that video, uh, the Tarantula Canada visit video. I walked off with three cool new stuff. Two of them are teas, so my collection just jumped up from 126 to 128. Yeah, and we'll start off with this one right here. Well, this is just a shoebox enclosure that they decided to give me because uh, they don't need it anymore. Jolt air holes. So I'm thinking this is going to be a perfect enclosure for my um, Panthabedius Antonis de Sealy Blue Lake Jade. Uh, she wasn't featured in Wednesday's feeding video, but um, she wasn't really interested in the crickets and the superworms. So um, yeah, I think this is going to be a lot better cage than the one that you see her in right now. She's going to have a lot more room in there. Yeah, just a lot more room, except more higher, too, so she doesn't feel cramped up in that. Anyways, I'll do that uh, probably uh, this afternoon. But today's video, I want to introduce you two new teas that I received. Okay, so this ran me around $240. Yeah, quite expensive. Uh, came with this one came with the cage and everything, so I didn't have to do any transfer or anything, which is awesome. So I want to introduce you to my new four and a half inch female Brachypelma classy, the Mexican pink. I always wanted to get one of these specimens because they're never offered in Canada, and luck as would have it. I found this 4 inch female um, classy at Tarantula Canada's get together and uh, they decided to uh, part with it and so I bought it. And it is a confirmed female. I checked the eventual shot. It had the epigastric furrow. Which is pretty cool. So I'm going to touch her and see how well uh, she behaves. Uh, normally uh, classies are supposed to be very skittish for brachypelmas. Let's see if I can try to get her on the side so you can see her. Uh, can I pinch grab her? Okay, I want to see. I want to show you the ventral shot to confirm. Okay, so... So to sex your brachypelma, you don't have to look very hard to see. Hang on. If I can just zoom in properly. Right here, that's your epigastric furrow, so that indicates it's a female. So four inches is uh, pretty easily sexed. Cool. That's awesome. And that, that was uh, $200 with the cage. So this was the 40. Um, hmm, suspect female. Where's this one? Alright. This one is called Lassiodora Fracta. I have no idea what the common name of this one is. I figured I should get it because it's a pretty neat Lassiodora and it looks actually very different than Kugi and Parahabana and Difficilis. Um, when I went to Tarantula Canada, Martin said that he never actually seen a specimen like this in person, uh, at least an adult specimen, but he told me that this particular Lassiodora is uh, pretty striped. 
All right, so let's have a look at this uh, fracta right here. Kind of resembles uh, Necroth, my Lassidora Klugi, but I think all Lassidoras will look like this as slings. So it's about a one inch one right here. Very, very cool. So I just wanted to share with you uh, my new Lassidora Fracta. Common name pending, I have to look it up and see what it is. one is, I really don't know. And my Mexican pink female, Brachypelma Classy. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.